Disney's killing it. My childhood. They just released a bunch of new trailers for sequels and prequels coming out. The Lion King prequel, Mufasa. Remember that awful live action film they released a couple years ago that happens to be one of the highest grossing films of all time? Yeah, it's getting another one. Disenchanted, the sequel 15 years later to Enchanted. C cool, I guess, all right. Grab your cauldrons, which is, we got a sequel to Hocus Pocus. And my favorite of the announcements, no sarcasm here, The Little Mermaid, baby. They released a teaser for this film. I'm desperate for views. Let's talk about it quickly. In May of 2023, we're going back under the sea with Halle Bailey. Not Halle Berry, Halle Bailey. Yeah, there's a new mermaid in town. She's an entirely different actress and she's playing Ariel. The trailer opens with dark, drab shots of the ocean, reminding us of the colorful, whimsical original film. Because that's what Disney's doing with all these. Sans Jungle Book and Cinderella, all the live action remakes have been exactly that. Remakes, rehashes, retreads, those beloved family films that you see on every freaking ride and piece of merch at Disney World. It's not like you go there today and you're wearing a new t-shirt that's got the live action Pinocchio. The Beauty and the Beast koozies don't have Emma Watson on them. They have the original Belle. These movies do so well though. They pull in massive numbers because audiences love those originals so much. Outside of a few of them that they crapped out on Disney Plus, like Mulan, Lady and the Tramp, and I'm gonna assume Pinocchio, these things are making tons of money. You know who else is making tons of money off of this? The anti-woke crowd. They love when these movies are announced because they can instantly go on YouTube and make 15 videos talking about how awful it is. I agree with them in one sense. It is awful that they're remaking all these movies and they're just soulless, terrible productions. Yes, a lot of talent is behind them to make these animated, almost lifelike looking animals. The difference is though, I'm just upset because these movies aren't very good. They lack a soul. They lack their own identity. Instead, nerfing the storyboards, taking the lines directly from the originals, taking the music directly from the originals, and just repurposing it. They're doing The Last of Us Part 1 again, and they're charging all over. It's making me think about the original, of course. You have the music in the background. You have a lot of the same shots going on. They're just done worse. It looks depressing. And here's our hero shot of the new Ariel, who they might as well have filmed at the bottom of the ocean because I can barely see anything. It's so freaking dark. The colors are so muted. Pop the colors up. I can't, does she have red hair? I can't even tell. I cannot tell. Now, as far as the actress is concerned, I know a lot of people are upset that she's black this time around. I'm very happy that she looks different because anytime they can make me not think of the cartoon and how I would rather be watching that version is better. Change everything in this movie. Make it all different. Make it have its own identity. Otherwise, what's the point? Now, as far as the actress goes, man, she can sing. I will say that she is going all in on the music. That's probably gonna be the highlight for this film. Everything else looks like a complete waste of my time. I don't know about you, but I sure can't wait to see a life like Sebastian and Flounder. <sighs> That's gonna be creepy as crap. Or what about Scuttle? Yuck. Why not make an animated sequel, a traditional 2D animated sequel to The Little Mermaid? I'm not talking about those like straight to DVD trash fires. An actual big budget 2D animation. People would go out in droves for this stuff. The same for Mufasa. Why does it have to be this National Geographic garbage no one wants? Yes, these movies make tons of money. It's not because they're good. It's because we remember how good they were. Well, there it is, my take. I'd love to hear yours in the comments below. Are you excited about this film? Are you really liking all these live action movies and I'm just way off base? Probably the case. Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you had some fun and feel free to take your trident and stab that subscribe button so you can see more of me in the future. I do tons of movie reviews, rants, tier lists, uh, poster reviews. No one does poster reviews, except for this guy. I'd love to have you. So, see you around, question mark. Since you're still here, I'm also on TikTok at Adam Does Movies, Twitch, playing games, and also live filming some of these and editing. It's a good time. Love to have you.